Kings, Knights of the Great Legion, this is Master Max 8 and today I'm gonna be playing Nintendo Daddy prepare to get spooked, this game is gonna make you shit your pants! Probably, I mean it's been, it's been a long ass time since I found a creepypasta game to be actually scary, but hopefully this one is gonna be able to do just that, it was made by Randy Becker, not that many people play Nintendo Daddy XC on YouTube, so I sort of want to bring exposure to it by playing it today, and hopefully it's gonna be a decent one, every time it's a surprise, I'm never entirely sure if it's a good game or not, uh, it's the same thing with this one here. Uh, this cartridge is for Nintendo of America developers only and is not authorized for resale or redistribution. By continuing, you are agreeing to our terms of agreement and will use this software for testing purposes only. Uh, that does sound like Nintendo. <laughs> they have a lot of rules and uh, when you get a copyright claim by them, it sounds just like that. Uh, anyway, we've got four Nintendo classics, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Legend of Zelda, Link's Adventure, I think, and Kirby's Avalanche. I've never played that, so I'll actually start things off with Kirby's Avalanche. If only Flying Shuck was here with me. You know, he's the flying Nintendo expert. He could have helped me a lot. Wait a minute, that's... That's from uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Was it also featured in Kirby's Avalanche? I, I, I wouldn't know. But, um... This might be boring, ladies and gentlemen. I, I was expecting something else entirely. I wasn't expecting to play Robotnik's Meat Bean Machine. What the fuck is going on? How am I supposed to play the game now? Help me! Yeah, how, how about you help me first, eh? Kirby, I'm gonna help you, but... You gotta help me beat this game, because I don't know how to play it when all the freaking blocks are pixelated. How am I supposed to get through this shit? Kirby suddenly turned his attention toward me, which is kinda creepy. Uh, this game is definitely- oh, it, it actually got me! Can it be? A creepypasta game that's actually scary? Maybe I got my wish? I mean, this really took me off guard. I, I thought I was supposed to complete this game, but Kirby was like, having none of it. He just jumped right at me. Cause Super Mario World, that's a game I'm familiar with. All right, let's do this, Mario. Can we jump? Okay, we can. Spacebar once again. It's tests? Is that? Yep, tests. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any other way. I gotta jump. Oh, well, actually, the sort of glitch effect took me here. It didn't even move. And help. Okay. Uh. This game is definitely creating a creepy ambience, if you will. Help me. Uh, I'd love to help you, but I'm not sure who you are. Uh, now am I supposed to jump? Or should I just wait for the glitch to take me somewhere else? You know, I'm, I'm gonna jump. I don't care. Okay. Why was there a creepy kid that popped in my face? Okay, this game... Uh, it's, it's quite something. It's definitely one of the best creepypasts I've played in a long time. Where did that come from? <laughs> okay, I guess that that would be the end of Super Mario World. And what is this shit? It's like red glowing eyes in the background. It's like something is slowly showing up. Uh, Legend of Zelda. Let's go with that. What? You know, come to think of it, has there been a Legend of Zelda creepypasta game in the past? I, I don't remember playing one, so... This might be a first here, ladies and gentlemen. I've got some, uh... Oh god, this looks so creepy! Looks awesome! I'm just gonna continue going up. <clears throat> I don't know if uh, I went the right Oh my god, what is this thing? Fuck this shit! I I really want to see what's up with that place, but I think I might be able to find an Easter egg if I continue to go up there. I mean, that would be... That would be kind of good. 
Master Max finally found a goddamn Easter egg. <laughs> this first time in his life, he finds an Easter egg all by himself. That's it? What was up with that other place then? Okay, you know what? After I'm done with this game, I'm gonna get back to it because I'm really curious to see if there's anything uh, that would happen if I would go there instead. Super Metroid it is! What? Is it Bowser? What is this thing? I'm trying to figure out what it is. I can... It reminds me of Bowser, but maybe it's not it. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine here, guys. I don't know what it is. Super Metroid! Oh man, this takes me back. Amazing game. Uh, if you've never played Super Metroid before, you should definitely give it a shot. Help me again! Oh my god, no, 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 shoot it, shoot it! It's not, okay, yeah, I can actually shoot them. I can actually defend myself in Super Metroid. Here we go. I can just spam it, okay, I'm, I'm gonna spam it. Fuck it, I'm gonna spam it. No, 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 no! Come on, Samus, Samus! Stay with me here, stay with me, I don't want you to die. I'm gonna do everything in my power for you to survive. We gotta, we gotta keep moving, we gotta keep moving. No, 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 there's too many of them, too many of them, too many of them. Fuck. At least I've got some health. What is this shit? There's so many of them. There's too many fucking Metroids. I, th there was nothing I could do here. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, what now? Can I jump? I'm trying to see if I can jump or do something else than shoot. <laughs> scares they come out of nowhere that's two times now two times something tells me we're gonna help me okay creepy kid again what, what what is that thing though that was slowly appearing I'm actually legit scared right now okay did, did it act my computer did it do something else I just heard breathing and a little girl saying, help me. For fuck's sake! I just get the feeling that something's gonna pop up in my face right now. This feeling of uncertainty, it, it's, not, it's not a pleasant feeling, not that much is certain. But, I'll see if I can reopen the game. Let's try doing that first of all. It's just, I cannot even reopen it. It's just that little girl. Yep, it's just she's blocking me, because I wanted to see if there was something special uh, with that huge skull in Legend of Zelda. <sighs> nope, I, I don't think I can get back to the game. That's really all there is to it. There's just one creepy girl blocking me. Good God! If you're, if you're gonna try the game yourself, you know, just go ahead and try going there and see if there's something... Uh, I miss because I, I cannot seem to be able to reopen the game or you know what I'm gonna delete the game I'm gonna re-download it and see because I'm really curious I get the feeling there's something special about that place so uh, give me a sec I'll be right back alright I just re-downloaded the game let's see if it works now uh, hopefully it does no it doesn't even doesn't even work! That weird creepy girl is still blocking me and she won't allow me to play the game anymore. Uh, which is kind of sad. We might never know what's up with that strange skull in the Legend of Zelda game. Uh, but still, what a creepy pasta game that was! I mean, if all creepy pasta games were like this, I think no one would ever complain about Dirty XE games and, you know, how they're all so repetitive and shitty. That one is anything but shitty. It was really, really effing creepy. You guys ought to try it yourself to see just how creepy it is when you actually play it. Um, and yeah, I, it, it got me two times. That Kirby jump scare got me, and that uh, that jump scare in Super Metroid also got me, because it came out of nowhere. Like, I thought I was supposed to look for some sort of hidden path in Super Metroid, but no, there's just this huge Metroid got me, and Kirby just jumped on me. Uh, I didn't expect it, and I think that's the secret of making a game scary. If you expect it, 
it sort of breaks the magic, but this one, everything was right, everything was spot on. So Randy Becker, man, uh, this guy has a lot of potential. If he's planning to make some more uh, creepypasta games or some more horror games, could be very interesting. It could be extremely interesting to see some more games by Randy Becker. Uh, so, I'm just gonna say you guys should definitely download this game. Uh, it got me two times. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been ages since the Creepypasta game made me jump out of my chair, but this one did it twice, so uh, kudos to Randy Becker. Amazing work here. Uh, so definitely look up the game. Uh, give it a perfect rating on Game Jolt. It definitely deserves it. And uh, also leave a like on this video if you enjoy enjoyed it. I'll see you in whatever I do next. And with that... As always, um, I'll just go ahead and clean my computer now because I'm scared of what it installed on it. And I'll see you in another video. So with that, take it away!